Hello to everyone, I'm Grandmaster for Komanatov and today is the third day of second Grand Prix tournament. Uh, tournament going well and it's really very interesting. Uh, all results and details you can find in our website. So once again, let's will say thanks to FIDE, to Georgian uh, Chess Federation and Georgian Chess Club 64 uh, for this great event and uh, we enjoying really uh, of uh, young uh, players games and uh, let's let's will start and today today I want to check um, games of uh, boys and girls under 16s and the uh, first game which I want to see uh, the silver LM ST against Pranavi and they already started they playing so fast <laughs> uh, before I said some few words they already made so many moves let's 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 check so um the silver is white Pranavi from India is black e4 e5 knight f3 knight c6 uh knight c3 four knights oh it's really very <laughs> very rare uh option uh in this tournament but anyway it will be interesting let's check uh knight f6 d4 capture capture and that bishop b4 knight c6 it's still theory four knights uh capture bishop d3 and d6 oh d6 pranav uh decided to play very aggressive the main line in this position is d5 and most of the games uh usually is equal and may, a lot of games is drawish but but pranav decided to fight against uh against the the silver and he played d6 okay so it's uh i feeling that uh, <laughs> pranav spirit is very very aggressive today okay so d6 castles and knight g4 immediately without any castles knight g4 directly uh he trying to fight without castling interesting idea but uh can't say that it's a great idea but it's interesting okay let's check h3 directly and i'm feeling that uh pranav thinking about h5 <laughs> i i'm not sure of course but i'm feeling that he's thinking a lot about this uh, this move let's see let's see how he will play uh yeah but okay as always i'm wrong and <laughs> he played knight e5 uh bishop sorry no he say he not saving bishop the silver directly playing knight e2 knight e2 bishop c5 preventing any ideas with f4 and bishop f4 so the silver simply trying to develop his pieces so he trying to play very simple and this game without any chance to push pawn on f4 okay so queen f6 looks absolutely natural move and if pranav keeping his king on e8 so maybe some idea like g5 h5 and start to fighting on the king side um okay so it's not so bad idea maybe so we need to prevent in my opinion g5 okay how we can do it maybe queen d2 queen d2 but queen d2 bit worry about bishop h3 but bishop h3 we can take on uh e5 so queen d2 is possible why not one option to prevent g5 idea but as always, again, I'm wrong. <laughs> I cannot find uh, moves of this young generation. And the silver simply took on e5. So he's, mm, he's not worried about pair of bishops. So trying, trying, trying to play very simple in this game. Okay, why not? Uh, of course, of course, queen takes e5. So Pranav trying, trying to keep, I mean, pawn structure like this and the silver simply played c3 okay so he simply saved his pawn on b2 and now now now, now pranav move so without knight g5 is not so logical so we're waiting some moves like castles some simple moves like this yeah okay <laughs> finally i find some 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 of moves uh of the players uh okay so king h1 now i'm waiting and then f4 and maybe f5 to make a block against light square bishop something like this uh looks logical for myself okay king h1 for example 
I don't know, any move, let's say, I don't know, a5, and then f4, uh, some move like queen somewhere, queen h5, let's say, and f5 to make a block against against a light square bishop. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, looks natural. Looks natural, so let's see how De Silva will play in this moment. He's thinking, oh no, he made move. Wow. Today's my 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 day. <laughs> he played King H1. Yeah, sorry, King H1. And now Pranav is thinking. So after King H1, if I it was my move, so just he's thinking. And uh, yeah, and he played Queen H5. Sorry, Queen H5. Okay, 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 okay. Queen H5. Queen H5. Queen H5. Yeah, he played like this. What's the idea of queen h5? So some ideas like to take on h3. To take on h3. And preventing, of course, of, of, of f4. Let's say if f4 white will play, of course, bishop h3 is coming. And it's simply checkmate on a board. Okay, very nice. Very nice. So these are guys understanding in positional playing. And he played queen h5. Okay, nice. So what to do now? Uh, bishop h3 is very unpleasant, I think. So we need to prevent it. How we can prevent it? Of course, we can play simply knight g3 or knight f4, knight d4, something like this. Mm, what else? What else we can do? King h2. Okay, it's not natural. Hmm, I hate it. I played king h1 and next my move king h2, so it's not not looks <laughs> normal. Uh, but maybe it's not so bad. Again, again, I want to push my pawn on f4. And if I will push my pawn on f4, f5, so I will make a block. So maybe it's uh, not will be bad. Not will be bad. Mm, okay, okay. But anyway, like, I don't want to play king h2. Okay, maybe, maybe some move like... Queen d2. I'm thinking if bishop h3, something like knight f4, for example, like this, like this, and knight f4. And maybe I'm missing something, some some tactic. Bishop g2, king g2, queen h, g, queen, queen, queen g4, tracking h2. And after that, knight h3, I will play, right? And after that, I will play knight h3. So looks looks absolutely normal. Check like this. King Queen G4 and King H2 looks absolutely normal for for White. Next move Rook G1, Knight H3, and then Peace up. So it was also possible. But okay, let's let's focus on a game. Hmm. Uh, position right now like this, <laughs> but how it's happened? Uh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, I see. So the Silver played Knight D4, as I told that uh, he trying to play very simply today. And he's trying to have some simple position. So knight d4, he offering to trade the queens. But Pranav, of course, trying to save queens. Uh, queen h4. Again, bishop h3 is coming. So the silver played queen f3. And simply bishop d7. Developing and saving pawn on c6. Yeah, looks natural move, absolutely. Bishop c2. What's the idea of this move? Bishop c2. Wow. Bishop c2. Not sure. Not sure honestly in this move. Not sure in this move. So what do you want to do? Maybe bishop a4. He trying to focus on c6 pawn, but it's not looks normal. Not looks like really very dangerous for black. In my opinion, we need to finish our development, somehow develop our rook from a1, maybe rook a e1, something like this, or rook a d1, rook f e1, something like this, but bishop c2, not sure, not sure. Okay, yeah, Pranav, absolutely, absolutely correct playing in this game, so rook a e8, and also preventing of any ideas with bishop a4, because pawn on e4 will be hanging. For example, if white will play bishop a4, and now we can capture on d4, take stakes, and win a pawn simply, I don't know, rook takes or queen takes, and simply pawn up, 
and easily okay not totally winning position but very very close from winning position so uh and uh, so waiting rook a e1 oh yeah it's happened rook a e1 so the silver simply saving his uh his pawn and the pranav played rook e5 rook e5 rook e5 rook e5 what's the idea of this move so I guess he want to make double rook on e five, and always after that, threat, threat, some, some, some threats like d five is coming. Okay, interesting way, interesting move, interesting move, interesting move. And what white can do, double rook on e five, also rook e two, rook e one. But it's not playing like you know. For me, it's not so natural. Like by black pieces directly trying to make something out white. Just simply only saving his position. It's not. It's not must be correct. Uh, it's not must be correct. So he must search something active. Maybe some knight f five. Something like this. Okay, knight f five is. It's a joke, of course, but I don't know. Some 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 aggressive way. Maybe queen somewhere. Queen e two. Knight f three. Oh, queen e two is uh, h three is hanging. So maybe queen d three. I don't know. Knight. Yeah, maybe queen d3. I like it. Queen d3 is the idea to play knight f3. Something like this, but we need to make something. Maybe queen d3, f4, some ideas also is coming. For me, it looks more natural. Mm -hmm. Oh! <laughs> As I told, today is my day. And of course, <laughs> the silver played queen d3. Okay, nice. Nice. Queen d3 was a simple idea to play knight f3, win exchange, or push his pawn on f4 and disturbing rook on e5. Disturbing rook on f5. So what to do now? What to do? Okay, g5 is too much because knight f3 anyway is coming. Uh, what else? What else? Maybe queen f4. Queen f4. Preventing of knight f3, preventing of f4, g3. I think it's uh, it must be well for us because okay, making some weaknesses in black position. Oh, sorry, in white position, h3 pawn will be weak, and directly we can play queen h6. So it's good for us for sure to provoke some 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 g3 g h4. No, it's it's fine. Uh, what else? Maybe knight e2, and after that play f4. Yeah, maybe maybe like this. Knight e2, queen somewhere, queen h4, queen h6, for example, and f4 now. f4, rook, I don't know. Rook h5, it's not natural. It's not human move, in my opinion, to keep rook on h5, uh, especially uh, when we know that he will push his pawn on f5 for sure. He will make a block against our light square bishop, and rook on h5 will be really, really uh, on a dangerous square. There are always some knight g3, knight f4 is coming, so no, it's too much. Uh, rook e7, probably he will play. And uh, maybe anyway, push our pawn on f5 to prevent any ideas with bishop g4, with bishop h3. So something like this, I think, I think uh, they will play. Mm -hmm. Pranav is thinking, and oh, he made the move. He made the move, and he played. Simply rook e7, like this. Simply rook e7. But it not looks natural, right? We played rook e5, and after 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 one move, again, we're going on e7. So it's not, cannot be, it's it cannot be great, in my opinion. But okay, what to do? Maybe, maybe uh, rook e7, he need, he need to play. Okay, and what now? Pushing f4, but f4 now f4 rook e8, for example, right? And uh, f4 f5 now it's not so great because d5 is coming, and it's not so pleasant. Yeah, maybe. So 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 knight f3. Okay, he will play queen h6 something. Okay, maybe bishop a4. <laughs> Following our plan, if we played bishop c2, so let's will follow our plan. Bishop a4 attacking pawn on c6. Yes, of course, white uh, black uh, can take on d4 at least. And if queen d4 c5 is coming, and it's not so pleasant in my opinion. Uh, yeah, so c takes d4. Of course, white will take, and the rook. 
E8, for example, something like this. So for me, it looks absolutely natural, natural and human, human playing like this. For example, if I will play by black or by white or by black, I will play like this. But okay, uh, let's will wait. Uh, the silver thinking and now position is like this. His move. Uh, let's check timings. 10 minutes, 10 minutes. Yeah, so absolutely normal and logical. Okay, before they thinking, let's check a um, girl section under 16. And uh, one second, which game I want to check. Yeah. This game, uh, Yakimova Maria against against uh, Lomaya Diana. So let's we'll see. Uh, Yakimova Maria by white color. Uh, Diana is black. D4, D5, C4, D takes C4. Okay, except Queen's Gambit. Knight F3, A6. A4, Knight F6. E3, E6. Okay, it's still theory. C5. Castles, Knight C6. And D takes C5. Okay. Um, you know, I'm not a big fan of this option for white. In my opinion, it's not so much. Okay, just maybe I don't understanding some details here. But generally, in my opinion, black is, is fine here. Okay, but anyway, uh, knight bd2, b6. Looks natural. We need to develop our light score bishop, uh, b3. Same, same from white side. Uh, bishop b7 and bishop going on e2. So... It's also, we can understand, a white idea to bring knight on c4 and d-star b6 and b6 pawn. Uh, castles. Oh, it's like this. I thought, I thought about king e7, honestly. Mm, I thought about king e7. So we know the rule. If position going in the end game, so it's better to keep king in the center. But, but Adiana simply played uh, castles. Bishop b2, rook f d8, yes, knight c4, and knight d5. Okay. For black, of course, it's good to occupy b4 square. So knight d5, knight e5, takes, takes, and now this position. So uh, black to move and what to do. And what to do, what to do here. So I like f6 simply to make a block against duck square bishop. Uh, ask him where where he will go. For example, if bishop d4, maybe I can capture, take stakes, and knight c3. Some ideas uh, to attack white pieces. If bishop going on g3, of course, he will be really very passive there. And okay, I can push my pawn on e5, or I can play knight c3. Also, uh, looks very well. So for sure... Yeah, okay, bishop, bishop b2, uh, it's happened, f6, uh, Diana played, and uh, Maria played, and Maria played, ah, yeah, sorry, and Maria played bishop b2, and knight b4, so, like this, like this, like this, any threats, mm, nothing special, I think, knight c2 is no threats, so, so I think approximately equal position, it's really very, tough to say that some of player have some advantage here okay looks looks absolutely not absolutely equal but but are uh, very close from equal mm. for white of course it's also good to make a block against light score bishop like f3 e4 but not possible right now because pawn on e3 will be hanging for example f3 and the black can think about b5 and win a pawn on e3 so maybe maybe for maria i can recommend to play something like king f1 slowly try to improve position slowly try to bring a king in the center mm. or rook Rook C1. But I, I not see big difference between Rook on C1 and Rook on A1. Anyway, in my in one moment, Black will take on D1. So, okay, Rook C1, maybe it's also possible. Yeah, and it's happened. Uh, Maria played a Rook C1. And what now? Any threats? Any threats? Any threats? Maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't see any threats, honestly. <laughs> maybe A5. A5, 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 and after B5, something like knight B6. Not looks really very dangerous, but okay, at least some ideas. So what, what I can recommend? Oh, maybe knight, no, knight A5 is also not so dangerous. Mm -hmm. 
So okay, bishop d5, maybe black can play simply. Or bishop on staying on the central square, slightly pressing on c4. But of course, nothing special, nothing special. So position is equal. Any move black can do here, maybe even knight a2, rook a1 and knight b4 <laughs> to make a draw like this. <laughs> okay, before before Diana thinking, let's check uh, our 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 boys and oh something something happens here <laughs> wait 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 uh we stop watching after rookie seven yes and the silver hmm. the silver pushed his pawn on e5 poo, poo, poo. what's idea can i take uh pawn takes e5 probably knight f3 queen h5 and, uh, and 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 maybe knight e5. Oh, so I think he's planning uh, to play knight h4. Queen is hanging. H7 also pawn bit weak. So black need to play queen h5. And something like knight e5 or queen e5 or rook e5 first. Okay, let's say rook takes. Rook takes. Knight takes, queen takes e5, not possible because checkmate is coming, of course. Uh, bishop is hanging. Oh, interesting idea. Any any black move and I will take on c6. Okay, interesting. The silver plate. e5 he pushed. And uh, how Pranav played? Oh, Pranav simply ignoring this pawn. <laughs> he simply played uh, rook e8. Okay, nice. And what now? And what now? And what now? F4, can I push? To support my pawn, F4. D takes E5. Let's say F E5 or Knight F3. Which move is better? Oh, but after F4, black have a good score. Oh, no, 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 sorry. I thought I can play Knight F3, but he will play Queen G3. But again, checkmate is coming. <laughs> so it's not so bad. Uh, yeah, of course, he will play something like queen somewhere. Queen h5 or queen h6. And we can capture on e5. Again, we can take by pawn. We can take by rook. Um, all moves is possible. Hmm. I like now white position. I made bad pawns in his position. Uh, bishop on d7 always will be hanging. So I think I think white, white is clearly better here. Okay, let's check uh, what was in the game. Oh, oh, I understood. He not played f4. He played knight f3 directly. It happens. Uh, queen h6. And now, yeah, okay. So tricky move. <laughs> <laughs> with a with a simple idea to play b4, bishop b6, for example, any move, I don't know, g6, for example, and the white planning to win a bishop like this, bishop uh, b4, bishop b6, and a5, and game is over because uh, white winning a uh, bishop on b6. So after a4, okay, a5, I think natural, yes, it happens, and queen a6. Oh, it's too much. It's too much. It's too much. You can't. You can't to play queen a6 if your king side is weak. The silver. What are you doing, my friend? It's too risky. Queen a6. Can I take on h3? Can I take on h3, gentlemen? Capture, capture. Knight h2. Knight h2. Right, and nothing there. But looks very interesting. Takes, takes, takes. Ah, uh, knight h2 is only move. And now, and now, and now, maybe rook, 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 rook e6, rook h6. But queen d3 is coming, right? Uh huh. Oh, sorry. Even queen takes c6 is coming also. And I can't play rook h6 because my rook is hanging on e8. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, maybe the silver calculates this option and decided that it's not so dangerous. I'm not care about it, he said. And uh, played queen a6. Okay, interesting. Uh, and how Pranav played? 
a Pranav simply took on e5. Yeah, why not? Why not? The silver took on a5 and simply bishop d6. Pawn is safe. I want to push my pawn on e4. Oh, it looks really very dangerous. I like how Pranav played. D takes e5 and bishop d6. And very simple, very simple idea to play e4, knight somewhere, and take on h3. Or even knight bishop h3 directly. After capture, 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 knight h2, e4 is coming. Oh, it will be crushing, yeah. For example, okay, let's, let's, I will show you some, some simple variations. Let's say b4, for example. And the black can take, take, take. As I said, check. Knight is hanging, so only move knight h2. And e4 is coming and crushing immediately. White cannot save his knight on h2. Oh, it's too much. It's too much. It's always very, very risky, uh, the silver, to bring your queen on another flank if your king is weak. It's, oh, it's too much. Believe me. <laughs> okay, so how he played? Ah, rook e3. So he played rook e3, and now pawn takes, uh, bishop takes, 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 knight h2, and not time for e4 because queen is hanging. Okay, nice. But what about e4? What about e4? e4, for example, knight h2, I can play bishop f4 first. I can attack your rook, and if you're living, then I can take on h3. It also looks really very well for black. For example, okay, let's check. Uh, like this, like this. Bishop f4, I'm attacking your rook. Rook is hanging, rook somewhere. Let's say e2, for example. And now again, takes, takes, takes. Knight is hanging, bishop h2, queen h2 is coming, and if f3, okay, I have a choice. I can take f e f3, for example, or oh, not, no, bishop h2, okay, without any 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 thinking, take on h2, and they win the game easily. Rook h2 and queen f1, checkmate is coming. Oh, So Pranav idea to play aggressive against the silver is working, and I see that Pranav maybe, maybe was the right to play so aggressive against the silver the silver bit played passive in this game so okay let's wait how oh knight g1 okay the silver decided to play knight g1 preventing any ideas with bishop h3 bishop f4 now yeah possible but no reason no reason simply f5 yeah I think after f5, black will get really very well positioned. So I'm waiting from Pranav, f5, f4, and f3. And crushing. And game over. <laughs> okay, let's we'll wait. Uh, Pranav is thinking. He's moved now. And let's check what happens in the girl's position. Uh, uh, Maria Yakimova against Diana Lomaya, and we stop watching after Rook C1, Bishop E4, yes, and uh, Maria simply played F3. Too much. Looks too much. E3 pawn will be weak. Bishop C2 is coming. B3 is weak. Oh, it's too risky in my opinion. It's too risky. But why? f3 okay diana played simply bishop c2 it looks absolutely natural rook d8 rook d8 pawn is hanging on b3 and maria played simply bishop a3 what's idea what's idea what's idea idea probably bishop b4 bishop b4 rook c2 but what about bishop b3 bishop b3 Black is pawn up, e3 is hanging, knight b6 not possible because bishop e3 immediately killing and finishing the game. Uh, but what's the idea? Maybe take on b4, but no. I can't I can't believe that it must be well. Capture, capture. Oh, maybe rook b1. Maybe this idea. Because knight b6 is nothing. Of course, bishop d2 is coming. And after that, bishop takes e3. Looks like easily winning position with pair of bishops with plus, plus extra pawn. So rook b1, I'm waiting from uh, Maria. Yeah, and she played like this. Rook, oh, sorry. Rook b1, she played. And now 
and now and now. Uh, bishops is hanging, so bishop a4 is not possible. Something else? No, I not see something else. So probably bishop c4. It's happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It happens. Uh, takes takes. Again, bishop is hanging. So bishop c5, absolutely natural move. And Diana played like this. Uh, her opponent took on e6, king f8, and now this position. So let's let's we'll check this position. So the material is equal, opposite color bishops, but but uh one small small detail that looks on a board, and it's really very important. <laughs> and it's very really important. And uh, now now I think black anyway is better, slightly but better. Only because pawn on e3 is a weakness. So king f2 is not so great because rook d2 check is coming and black winning pawn on e3. Uh, what to do? So probably rook b3, I think. But after rook b3, black can try to play rook e8. One more option. And winning, anyway, winning pawn on, uh, on, 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 on e3. What else? What else? What else? Something else. Okay, maybe some idea rook d1, rook a1. A4 pawn is much better instead of taking on e3. Oh, I like this option. Look, rook d1 check. King f2. Uh, I don't know. It's a good idea to bring a king on g3. Let's say to play rook d2, king g3. And ah, no, no, no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, rook will be on a2, and it's always some some discover there, and it's uh, not necessarily to play. Okay, okay, like this. So rook a1 is absolutely uh, looks logic. Ah, I missed. I missed bishop d7 also possible. <laughs> White can save pawn from, from, from d7. King e7 and something like rook d3 or bishop c6 even. I don't know which move is better. Rook d3. Mm, yeah, of course, we can try to make a check on a2. King move and then take on e3. So interesting, interesting, interesting. Or even it's trick. Check king g3 and bishop d6 suddenly. Oops. <laughs> and black winning piece yeah so but okay uh it's some dreams uh yakimo maria is still thinking her move in this position she trying to decide what to do maybe she will directly will try to sacrifice a pawn let's say maybe she will play bishop c4 something like this check king f1 and uh with some idea to save for game like this maybe i don't know honestly so Let's let's will wait her move. Uh before she's thinking, let's check uh what happenings in Pranav game uh against the Silva. So wow 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 what happens here? Uh wait 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 we'll so knight g1 it wasn't yeah it was it wasn't the game we looked it and I recommended to to, to, to push pawn on f5 but but Pranav ignoring my recommendation and playing simply queen queen f4 with a simple idea to checkmate. Yeah, so g3 is a okay, probably only move, only normal move. Because rook, rook, rook g3, it's too much. Queen d2 is coming, right? Queen d2 attacking rook, attacking bishop on c2. So it looks really very risky. Yeah, so for this reason, g3, the silver played. Uh, after that, queen h6 back. Oh, so Pranav simply provoking some weaknesses in the opening position. h3 weakness now. Uh, king g2, and now only f5. Wow, wow, so good, so good. So f4 is coming, and it's really very unpleasant. And the silver pushed his pawn on f4. Yes, of course, capture. But why, of course, capture? Maybe we can play g5 somehow uh, to keep pawn on e4. Pawn on e4 is really very strong. It also was possibility, something like this, for example, knight e2, rook g7, something like this. And I'm trying to attack on g file. So for me, it also looks natural move but 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 what pranav did uh okay he took simply on f3 rook f3 and now and now bishop e6 bishop e6 hmm 
bishop e6. Okay, 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 okay. Looks nice. So it was a simple idea to play bishop d5 and win a rook on f3. <laughs> okay, and uh, what happens then? c4. Can I take pawn on c4? Oh, maybe bishop b3 idea. Okay, interesting. Yeah, it's happened. It's happened. Yes, yes, yes. And right now, position like this and black to move. So, rook e3, one more option. f4, I like also. Uh, what else? What else? Yeah, okay, f4, I like. I like f4. Yeah, Pranav simply push his pawn on f4. Yeah, looks like not absolutely winning position, but a really very big advantage. Very, very big advantage. Pawn up, very weak king on g2. PCC is not so great. Uh, all PCC is not supporting themselves. So queen on a5, rook on b3, knight on g1. No, I don't like this position. So I guess, oh, in timing, only only so 43 seconds in uh, the silver clock and against four minutes of Pranav. Yeah, I think it will be, it will be, okay, some, some, <laughs> some good result for Pranav in this game. Okay, let's check what then what. Ah, oh, he took, the bishop takes a four. So with king on g2, so many tactical possibilities, like queen g5, like rook e2, um, position is losing. Now position is totally losing, I think. Uh, the silver played rook f3. And Pranav is uh, thinking now. So g5 is possible. Bishop d6. Yeah, bishop d6 possible. Rook e5, rook g5, some more. Some, 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 some. One more option, for example, bishop e3. Yeah, I think it's easily winning. Okay, let's check our girls. Uh, what's happening there? Oh, it's draw already. But, 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 but how? It's so fast happens. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, rook b3 and Diana directly played rook e8. Uh, bishop c4. And here she took by rook on e3. But why? Who can explain for me? Okay, maybe she's going really very really well in the tournament, and like this, she's trying to fix fix the draw. Okay, but for me, it not looks <laughs> it looks not absolutely natural. Rook e3. I mean, we can take on e3 by bishop and play without any risk this position. Maybe it's tough to win, of course, I know. But but um, we spawn up, we can play without any risk to lose. And even all top GMs, of course, playing like this. If they have position without any risk, they will try very, very hard. Yes, maybe it's anyway it will be draw, but at least we must try, no? And also, as I said, it was a very interesting idea to play rook d1 and rook a1 with the idea to win a4 pawn. So, yeah. Okay, anyway, uh, let's check, let's check uh, our boys. What happenings? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Where's my c6 pawn? <laughs> Wait, Pranav sacrifice this pawn or what? What happened? Um... So after rook f3, uh, black to move and black played queen g6 check. Okay, king h1 and bishop d6. What's the idea? What's the reason to improve white king? King on g1 staying much better than on g2, no? Then what's the reason to make a check on h6, uh, on g6? I can play, for example, bishop d6 directly, and I'm always keeping some check. Anyway, king on g2 staying worse, right? For me, it's not logical to make a check. Okay, I can make check when it's really, I need it, or I'm, I don't know, winning something. But for nothing, no reason, in my opinion, to spend the time, and no reason to improve opponent king. But okay, queen g6 check. King h1, bishop d6. Uh, so pawn up. 
and the uh, queen c3 the silver simply playing queen c3 attacking pawn on c6 and pranav and pranav simply sacrificing pawn so he not care about his pawn <laughs> yes i know double pawns yes i know that it's not so strong pawns but it's anyway it's uh extra pawn right hmm. simply he played h6 okay the silver took and uh what happens then wait queen takes c6 king h7 hmm. oh bit bit strange moves of pranav for me honestly he played h6 king h7 yeah i know that he want to to win without any risk but but okay let's check king h7 uh queen c3 back rook e4 pawn is hanging on a4 rook f2 rook f2 like this what's the reason to make a weak first rank uh, rook a4 is coming okay rook a4 maybe it's too much because rook g2 and queen is hanging and if he's leaving g7 queen g7 checkmate is coming okay oh but maybe it's not so bad maybe it's not so bad and how pranav played okay he played rook e1 and the silver played rook g2 queen is hanging any tactic here uh rook takes g1 king g1 queen b1 rook f2 is rook f1 is coming right do, 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 to to do to 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 do but wait we need to search something i don't understand wait 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 uh checkmate is coming no <laughs> if queen h5 or queen e6 somewhere rook queen g7 checkmate is coming so we need to search something Mm. Oh, I got it. Wow. Rook e2, I can't play. <laughs> Pranav. Bravo, bravo. He did it. He did it. Wow, so good. So good. And even, you know, uh, he finds this better and faster than myself. Because I find this move only after rook g2, only here. But 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 uh, without without uh, finding this move, he never will play rook e1, right? So he finds it in in this moment, exactly in this moment. So he played rook e1, and after rook g2, rook 8 e2. So good, so good, so pranav, perfect, really perfect. Rook g6. For chess amateurs, I will show <laughs> what's idea of this move. It looks like a uh, black losing queen, but rook h2 checkmate is coming. Yeah, so I think the silver was uh, in shock in this position after rook e2. Yeah. Okay, very nice. Uh, so how he played? No, sorry. Uh, let's. Oh, it's over. Oh, <laughs> game is over uh, already. But let's check how it's happened. So rook e2, rook g3. He played. Uh, simply capture. Rook g3. Oh, okay. If rook takes e2, and instead of instead of instead of uh, rook g3, so white uh, black simply winning after, after rook g1, king g1, bishop. I don't know e5, rook g2 takes takes and we have extra check <laughs> check and after that black taking on g6 and game is over peace up and easily winning position so for this reason for this reason the silver took on g3 but pranav crushed him rook takes uh, g1 okay rook g1 or queen e4 is also possible i think also winning the game rook g1 uh, King g1 because after rook takes g1 queen e4 check his king was very soon checkmate uh, so he took by king and after queen b1 resign pranav congratulations really very great game very great only maybe one one moment i was a bit worried about your position after 
after after after queen d3 but after that you played really very great game perfect congrats okay the silver so sorry but okay pranav played really very great game okay so let's check some other running games uh uh, oh, 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 very interesting Queen's end game looks okay. A game between Lutsko Artyom against Aditya Samant. Queen end game uh, with the same material, but 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 black black pieces is more active. His queen active, his king is active, and the e6 pawn is weakness. Uh, white to move in this moment. Only seconds on a clock, so not so easy to make decision because queen e5 always is coming. For example, if white will play queen e4, so directly after queen e5, black bringing game in the end game, and this position will be easily winning. For example, capture like this, queen king f5, and simply pushing our pawn. Yeah, it's easily winning. So, 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 what to do, what to do. Uh, maybe leave king somewhere, king h1, something like this, and try to play this position. Queen e5, and uh, and I don't know. <laughs> and I don't know how to play. Yeah, but of course, uh, it's not means that after queen takes e6, it's totally winning position for, for, for black. It's not, of course, like this. Only one extra pawn in queen end game is nothing. But, but of course, it's good chances to make, to create something at least. Uh, especially, especially on uh, time pressure. So let's check how uh, Artyom played. Artyom played through queen c8. Okay, looks, looks interesting. And h4. H4, 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 okay. Queen G3 check is coming and capturing H3 pawn. So I guess, I guess Artyom will play King H1. Yes, it happens. And Queen D5. And look how Aditya playing really, very really great. He not Queen D because, because after that, <laughs> we can sacrifice his Queen because it will be stalemate. For example, check and simply Queen F5. And if black will take, of course, it's still mid. King d6, and I'm trying to sacrifice my queen. For sure, it will be easy draw. So he not giving this chance, uh, and he played, Adita played simply queen d5 check. So white played king g1, and and what now? Capture pawn, no? Uh, take queen h8 check, maybe king g5 we have. So I think it's possible to take pawn on on e6, uh, but but queen d1. Okay, checks checks. King f1. Check on d3. King e1. Oh, I got it. I got Artyom idea. Oh, oh, very nice, very nice. So his idea, if Black, if Adita will take on h3, for example, and then he can start to make a checks because king e6 not possible after queen c8, white winning opponent queen on h3. Wow, so nice. So uh, for Aditya, it's too risky to take on h3. So he must to, to win anyway, he wants to win e6 pawn. But look, Aditya also playing really, very great. He made a check on e3. He trying to make far a uh, white king from the king side. And even, okay, because king f1 is not, it's possible, of course, but after that, queen a3 check is coming with a, uh, I mean, capturing with a check. So king d1. And now he took on e6. And now he capturing on e6. Yeah, this position, I think, should be winning with a uh, king, I mean, we can't open and king, so it must be, uh, it must be winning in my opinion. Uh, yeah, so check, check, king f4, and okay, just I don't know how, but <laughs> it must be winning. <laughs> okay, let's check. Uh, queen b3 check. Okay, looks absolutely natural move. Yes, and something like queen f3. Yeah, queen f3 looks for me absolutely normal like this and white cannot make check on d2 because queen e3 is coming always so it's fine yeah if queen h2 again queen g3 and if i will win a pawn on h3 it will be over very soon uh how they played oh it's almost same ah no not not same he played queen g3 
queen f1 check and queen f3. Okay. And after queen c4, simply king g3 is coming. Yeah, looks easily winning. When black will take pawn on h3 and there was two pawns up uh, with so bad king. I think black position is easily winning. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what then? Queen c4 check, I guess. Yes, it's happened. And king g3. Right? <clears throat> anyway, he cannot to make a check on c4, uh, on c7 because queen f4 is coming. So I think it's fine. Uh, how pronounced played? Oh, sorry, Aditya. Oh, Aditya simply played queen e4. Queen e4. Okay, maybe queen on e4 staying really well. Um, just, I know one rule, you know. Uh, if your queen staying, I mean in queen endgame, if your queen staying on some central square, never your opponent cannot make perpetual. <laughs> it's a rule. So, maybe Aditya Samant know it. And he keeping his queen on the central square. So he played queen e4. Uh, what was then? Uh, queen e4. Ah, okay, queen c8. And Aditya played king f3. Oh, so deep. So deep. Why not simply king g3 <laughs> and attack pawn? But okay. On a second, of course, uh, everything can happen. So king f3. King d2, king g3 anyway. <laughs> okay. Oh, white, white played queen d7, and now something like e6, blocking queen, and after that, winning pawn on h3. Yeah. So I think it's easy. Uh, okay. So what happens then? <clears throat> Let's check. Uh, e6, yes. Queen g7 takes oh no oh no king g1 <laughs> queen g1 queen g2 is coming right yeah it's happened and uh, like this aditya samant won this end game so good so good aditya congratulations really very great great end game i like it okay so some 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 other games uh running games which is not finished yet oh looks very interesting end game uh, Dongwani near against Chua Jiatian. So opposite color bishops, but two connecting pawns. Yeah, it should be losing. So king coming on a4s, and we're playing b6. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I oh, know it must be winning. Yeah. I can't, can't imagine that uh, white cannot win this position means uh <laughs> means 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 oh i got one idea so if black will sack no but the pawn is there no it must be winning so okay just no reason to play uh to play to play b6 now we can play simply king a4 and after that we're playing uh b6 king b5 a6 yeah it should be easily winning but let's check the game yeah, king a4, it happens. Bishop d4, and now b6. One chance I thought, one chance to take on b6, but it's nothing. Capture, capture, for example, takes, 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 and king b4. We, yeah, with, p, with bishop up, we, we can win this position easily. Only one chance, let's say, no, no pawns on d file, no pawns. And black can reach h8 square by king, and it's... I think it's draw. <laughs> it's draw. Yeah, even even if I cannot reach, if I even after, if I will keep my king on a fate, it's also draw. I think. Yeah, but d pawns on a on a board, and the, when white will take this pawn on d six, it will be over. So what happens then? Uh, after, oh, position like this already. Uh, can you give me a second? Yeah, okay. Uh, Chua played simply bishop c5 and after king b5. Yeah, position is totally losing. My next move will be a6, king c6, then a7, and bishop is coming on b7 checkmating. Uh, oh, it's happened. Oh, as I said, it's... 
it's my my day to day <laughs> it's my day to day and uh checkmate is coming yeah so like this okay something else some games is going still or not let's check oh uh, one more interesting ge end game huan against halder sneha and uh, and simply peace up no it's not so interesting so white next move will be knight a4 knight takes c3 and easily winning position easily winning position yeah no 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 chances uh what else what else uh under 16 oh under 16 very interesting end game <laughs> two pawns up and in in nine uh night end game and now and now and now white to move so for sure white will play knight f4 as we h3 is coming uh knight f4 check king f1 and knight knight g2 yeah it's over it's over h3 is coming h3 and g2 and game is over yeah okay like this it's happened Knight e3, king e2. Okay, knight g2. Only one chance. Only one chance. Who knows? Maybe black will take pawn. <laughs> pawn takes knight, and after that, it's draw. Because black cannot save g3 pawn. Of course, black no need to take on g2, and black can play any other move. Let's say king king f2 or something like this. But it's chance. It's chance. Okay, let's check. Oh. It happens. <laughs> okay, so h3, knight e3 check, king e2, knight g2, and king. Oh, sorry. Yeah, king f2, of course. Oh, come on. King f2, knight h4, and simply g2. Yeah. Like this. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. It's a game between Po against Babaza da Hazar. Okay, so it's over. All games is finished. Uh, let's we'll wait a uh, second round of today. And uh, don't leave us. It's time to drink uh, one cup of coffee and continuously watch so great games of young stars. Bye. See you after a few minutes.
Hello again. Hello to everyone. I'm checking uh, checking uh, standings right now, and you can do it also with myself or alone on our uh, official website. So I'm checking now uh, standings uh, girls under 10. And uh, uh, so names, uh, federation, and uh, points after after the first uh, tournament. Akbari Rosha is the leader of the tournament. She's from Iran. Her rating 1380. And she got 160 points after the first uh, tournament. She won a tournament and she got 160 points. On the second uh, going and GC Jan from Singapore. Uh, her rating uh, 1055 and she got 130 points after the first tournament and on the third uh, place Li Thai Huang An uh, with 90 points so I think and uh, Prishita on the fourth place Prishita Gupta 80 points and Valiva Asnat 70 points I think uh, between these five players no of course not all, only five players but all as we know only two players going in the final tournament, so super final. So I think, um, I think, I think between these five players are uh, going the fight for super final. So if we checked, uh, if we checked girls under ten, so let's we'll see uh, this uh, tournament today, and uh, let's let's we'll check. Uh, one second, sorry. Yeah, so under 10 girls, uh, Akbari Rosha playing uh, against Huang Luna in the next round. So let's will follow. Uh, let's will follow these uh, games today. Uh, right now, after a few minutes, they will start. So it will be interesting, I think, to follow the leader, <laughs> leader of the tournament of this Grand Prix. So, uh, all games I like, really I like, and even they showing really very good level. And it's not it's it's not surprised for me because, okay, of course, all uh, players, the leaders in their age categories. But super final tournament I think will be really very interesting. The best chess players from around all the world will play there in their age category so uh we're waiting december and from december 18 till 24 so will be super final so don't miss so great event so great tournament and it's first tournament and again i want to say thanks to fide international chess federation to georgian chess federation and uh, to georgian uh, chess club 64 for this great event and uh, I'm really enjoying and I like this tournament so much. Okay, so waiting first moves. Uh, Huang Luna against Akbari Rosha. Akbari Rosha leader in this uh, under 10, under 10 uh, tournament. So let's, let's follow her game and we'll check how she's playing. As I said, you can see uh, on a, our uh, official website other standings. Uh, maybe it's interesting for you to see some other uh, categories, so you can find everything there. But if I decided to check girls under ten, so it's logical to follow this uh, tournament, especially Akbari Rosha. She going on a first place and okay, let's check and also second place and GC Jen. Uh she playing against Gomez Gonzalez, Fabiana. Oh Fabiana, so nice. <laughs> we have uh world number two by rating Fabiano Caruana. Uh, this lady Fabiana. Nice, nice. Who knows? Maybe she will be also top top two <laughs> in the world. The world. Okay, let's check. Okay, one more minute before they will start. 
I remember Akbari Rosha showed really very great level games in the first tournament. I checked not all of the games, honestly, but some of the games, mm, it was really very nice. Really very nice. And I think uh, she she's our future. <laughs> she's really strong player. Okay, it's time. So waiting first moves. Juan Galuna against Agbari Rocha. So let's imagine which first move will be on the board, E4 or D4. I guessed for E4. <laughs> I want to see E4. E4 and some Sicilian fighting. Okay, no. Not Sicilian, but E4. Okay, <laughs> so let's let's start. E4, uh, Huang played, and uh, Rosha played E5. Knight F3, Knight C6. Okay, so and now uh, Luna thinking what to play. Italiano, maybe Scotch, maybe Rui Lopez. I think she have a big choice here. Even Knight C3 like previous game which we looked so let's 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 check okay she's thinking surprisingly okay no and she pushed d4 d4 he takes d4 knight takes d4 and simply knight of six uh rosha playing really very um not i can't say that it's really very sharp line but bit bit sharp she played knight f6 so waiting knight c6, bit c6, e5, and it's big uh, theory there, and very old variation. Even Kasparov against Karpov played many games in these lines, and oh, oh, oh and very big surprise. F3, this move I think first time. F3, wow, it's a novelty on the fifth move. It's a really very surprise. <laughs> Okay, looks very nice, very interesting at least. Uh, what's idea of this move? Of course, she wants to play c4 and to get a pawn structure like a Marozzi pawn structure. So for a Rosha, it's logically to push pawn on 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 d5. I think it will be more logical. Let's see. <laughs> F3. Wow, so nice. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so before Rosha is thinking, let's check uh, what happenings on a on a game. Gomez against Ng. Uh, one second. Let's check from the first move. D4 knight f6. Bishop f4. Okay, offering to play London system. B6 immediately. E3 bishop b7. Knight f3 e6. Bishop e2. Bishop e2. Wow. Bishop e2. Usually, uh, players who are using uh, London systems, they trying to develop bishop on d3. But 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 Gomez Gonzalez decided to play bishop e2. Can't say that it's so great, but okay, maybe it's possible. Uh, bishop e7, knight bd2, d6, and simply c3 now. Knight bd7, queen c2. Castles. And... So waiting maybe long castle if we played queen c2. <laughs> or maybe something aggressive, g4. No, g4, it's too much. It's too much. And something like e5, black can push. Okay, so waiting white move. And Gomez simply made a castle, a6 and a4, preventing any black ideas with b5. Anyway, and g trying to do it, she played rook b8 and b4. So if we played uh, rook b8, so logically to push pawn on b5, no? And it's possible because uh, capture, capture, capture. If white will take on b5, we can take on f3. Extra uh, we have. And bishop on b5 is hanging off us. White can take on d7, but anyway, we will take on g2. And like this, uh, the material it will be equal, but white king is really very weak, so it's good for black. Uh, so when she's thinking and she trying to decide, is it early to play b5 now or no? 
on. Uh, it looks absolutely logical with fixing some light squares, so maybe not so bad. But no, sorry. But she played knight h5 also. What is this? Yeah, knight h5. So she trying to trade uh, one of bishop and to get pair of bishops on a board. So not bad, not bad. Okay, Gomez Gonzalez thinking now. And what can we recommend for her? So I think we need to push pawn on b5. If you start to make a space, so continuously do it. B5, maybe later C4, something like this. No, 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 no. She played simply bishop g3. I'm not sure, honestly. I'm not sure. If anyway, oh, black will trade my dark score bishop, so maybe it's better to keep my bishop on f4. And if black will take, at least I will take my e pawn, I will open e file, so and I will have some more space. But bishop g3, I'm not agree, not agree, not sure. Mm -mm. No, no, no. And directly, and g took on g3, takes, takes, and now this position on a board. And now with pair of bishops, of course, we can we can try to open position as maximum as possible. We can push, we can push pawn on c5, for example. When bishop was on f4, it was a bit risky because on this diagonal, our rook on b8. But now, after trading bishop, so I like c5 and quickly starting to fight. <laughs> and at least at least we're trying to open position with pair of bishops. So let's wait how she will play. Oh, she played, but she played knight f6. She played knight f6. Knight f6, knight f6. Not sure, honestly. I like c5. <laughs> but okay, let's check. Uh, so b5 waiting. b5 and at least we're fixing c7 pawn. Because after, let's say, c5 now, white can take on c6. And at least we're trying uh, to create some, some b6 pawn weak. So for this reason, I think b5 for white will be fine. Now... Uh, Gomez is thinking now. Okay, before she, she's thinking, let's check uh, leader leader of Grand Prix so the, after the first uh, tournament, uh, Akbari Rosha against Luna. And uh, wait, 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 how it's happened? So we stop watching after F3, and Rosha played simply D6. I'm not sure on D6. Not sure, absolutely, in my opinion. So even... Even if you have one extra tempo, you need to open position immediately. It means, uh, look, black developed two pieces, white only one. So we can we can try to play aggressive, something like d5. I like d5, honestly. <laughs> but okay, uh, Rosha played d6, very solid. And bishop c4, not understand Luna. Idea. Why not c4? Luna. It was your idea, no? You played f3, so to push pawn on c4, and after that, knight c3, bishop e3, bishop e2, something like this. And very easy to play position when you have more space. But she played bishop c4. Okay, bishop c4, what was then? Bishop e7, simply. Bishop e3, knight e5. Okay, attacking bishop. Bishop e2. Bishop e2. Castles, knight c3, and simply a6. Okay, a6, I like some idea to play b5, c5 to make a space on the queen side. Okay, I like this move. Castles, and now waiting some b5 or c5. Okay, b5, not sure right now because c6 square will be weak, and who knows, maybe some, some move like f4 is working. f4, knight leaving, and knight c6. So I'm waiting, I'm waiting from our Rosha c5 move like this bit, bit aggressive of course but what to do if we start to play uh like this if we're trying to win our opponent so it looks absolutely natural and logical to play c5 knight f5 is nothing it's not must be dangerous we will take take and d5 immediately 
we have a so good center, double pawns in white position for sure. Uh, black will be fine always here. So, and if 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 white will play knight b3, okay, then b5 again. Um, b5 with some idea to develop bishop on b7, and after that maybe b4 or bishop e6 also possible. Why not? Yeah, both both moves looks fine for myself. Okay, so Russia thinking. Oh no, she's not thinking. She made the moves. And she played simply bishop d7. Mm, not sure, honestly. Not sure, Russia. If you are leader, you must press your opponent. You must try to crush all of them. <laughs> but bishop d7 looks really very, very, very solid move. So Luna pushed her pawn on f4. She not caring of any knight g4. Knight g4 now. Bishop is hanging. Bishop is hanging. But okay, I can play bishop e2, bishop c1 somewhere. And after that, h3. Yeah, black pieces will be in trouble. Okay, so Luna played really very well. f4, knight c6, it happens. And, and f5. And f5. But why? Why we need to play f5? Um, okay, I'm starting coaching <laughs> during my comments. So, uh, Luna, for future, for you, uh, when you have a space, try to keep pieces on a board. When you have a space, it's better for you to keep pieces on a board. For this reason, I'm recommending for you to keep your knight. Okay, I don't know. Knight f3 I don't like because sometimes knight g4 is coming. So I prefer to play knight b3. Knight b3, something like bishop f3. After that, I don't know, king h1, queen d2, rook a d1, rook f e1. It's really very easy to play for you. If you will listen my commands a bit later maybe. So it's very easy to play for you. And when you will prepare everything, everything, like, as I said, bishop f3, queen d2, and everything like this. And only after that, you can go forward. Maybe knight d5, maybe you will prepare something like e5. So it will be it will be really very easy to play for yourself. But after f5, you're giving chance for your opponent to take on d4. I see that you made a block against light square bishop. Okay, I'm agree with this. But, you know, it's helping... For your opponent to trade one of the pieces, takes takes, and she can maybe she can play c5 or bishop c6 immediately. You know, she changing diagonal of uh, for her bishop on this diagonal c8 h3, bishop is nothing, so she will bring bishop on c6 like this. And I think okay, black position is absolutely normal now. Uh, okay, let's check uh, how how uh, Rosha played after f5 she played yeah sorry f5 no no after f5 she played simply rook e8 <laughs> okay rook e8 what then queen d2 bishop f8 aha uh -huh. okay then bishop f3 she played Knight e5. Knight e5. Oh, can't say that it's so great, but, 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 but. Anyway, I, I prefer to take on d4 to play bishop c6, something like this. But even knight e5 I like. It's so great outpost square for my knight. And now I want to take on e f3. I want to, 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 to play knight c4. Okay, anyway, I will trade on my knight for one of the pieces, and it's good for myself. And it's good for myself. Something like b3, knight f3, or bishop e2. Okay, I can play knight g4, for example. I'm attacking bishop on e3, I'm attacking pawn on e4. So, something like this. Okay, so Rosha, Rosha got a good position, in my opinion. Okay, so... Uh, Luna is thinking now. Let's check what's happening on in NG NG game. 
wait, 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 wait. What is this? What is this? <laughs> after uh, we stop watching after uh, HG3, and now NG played knight f6. Yes, white pushed her pawn on c4 like this. So I recommended uh, to play b5 first. But she pushed her pawn on c4, and black, of course, simply and she simply pushed her pawn on c5. b5 now, but it's not the same. It's not the same, Gomez. Not same. Queen c7, bishop d3, rook fd8, yes. And g playing absolutely correct. She preparing everything. She preparing everything. I, I, I'm, I'm sure that her next move will be something like rook c8. Rook B C eight, and after that she will go forward. She will push her pawn on D five. She will try as maximum as possible to open center, because all her pieces is really very well. So Gomez playing Knight E four. Uh, pawn is hanging on H seven. So G six, G six, G six, and Knight E G five. Gomez simply trying to bring pieces on the king side with the idea to create something there. Oh, and now white offered draw. Wow, very, very interesting <laughs> psychological moment. Okay, very nice. <laughs> uh, she offered draw and now NG is thinking. Wow, interesting moment. <laughs> she will accept or not? What do you think? Can you write comments? <laughs> she will accept or not. And G going on the second place after first round of after first tournament. Interesting, interesting. But she have a good position, you know. I, I like black position honestly. It's it's a complex, of course. It's nothing special. Just just I like, I like black position. So okay, let's let's see what she will decide. What she will decide, and she made the move. She want to fight. Okay, she played rook f8, preventing any whites. I don't know checkmates or some sacrificing ideas. Maybe she was a bit worried about knight f7, king f7, knight g5 check, king somewhere, and knight takes e6. Okay, so and she played uh, rook f8. I'm also worried about bishop uh, knight f7 and knight g5, but I don't like to play rook f8. One or two more moves ago, I played rook fd8, and now again back on f8, not looks natural. So I will, I will try to search something else. Maybe a h6 even. Why not? h6, for example. And if uh, knight f7, king f7, so it's okay. Yes, of course, you can take on g6, but I can play king g7 and nothing then, right? Uh, maybe I'm missing something. Maybe maybe after h6, e6, same. Uh, bishop, oh, bishop g6 is coming. Sorry, 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 I missed it. Uh, bishop is coming. Wow. A G is five and knight G five and after capture queen G six checkmate is coming. No 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 no. Uh yeah okay I can play of course bishop f eight but or rook f eight, but it's too much. It's too risky. Bishop f seven queen G six or bishop f seven knight E six force and after oh oh so tricky so tricky. Yeah yeah so I was wrong. H six is not possible. Uh. But 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 uh, what is possible? Okay, maybe Bishop of Fate. Maybe Bishop of Fate. I can play. Yeah, Bishop of Fate. I like. It's some kind of my necessary move. I want to bring my Bishop on G7, and on this diagonal he will work really very well. And again, again, I'm preparing D. I'm preparing D. If I need to open position, my Bishops must to walk. In a close positions, my Bishop is nothing. Yeah, so I prefer to play bishop f8, but okay. Uh, and g played a rook f8. So, and what to do now? And Gomez very aggressive, very aggressive. No any one move back, only forward. Knight h4. I like, I like games like this. <laughs> I like games like this because uh, it's showing me the fighting spirit, fighting spirit. So. 
So, so, so why planning to sacrifice something on g6 or on f7? Oh, but I don't know what. <laughs> so, knight g6, hey, g6, bishop g6. Let's say like this. She wants to sacrifice. And uh, what ng did? d5. No fear. No fear. Oh, no fear. Of course, it's good, but uh, but checkmate is not coming. Knight takes g6, pawn takes, bishop takes. Okay, let's check. Takes, takes, takes. For example, of course, black cannot take on g6 because very easily. Wait, wait, wait. Can take on g6. Check. King h8. Knight takes e6. Queen is hanging, and queen g7 checkmate. So it's not so tough. All of us we see it. Uh, but what to do? Of course, I can ignore bishop. I can ignore bishop, but but what to do? Because bishop f7, rook f7, queen g6 again is coming. So 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 okay. Maybe I can save my pawn. Let's say queen d d d d d d6 or d7 somewhere. Let's say like this, and I'm simply piece up. If some 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 uh, tactic is not working here, bishop f7, rook f7, it's fine. Bishop a7, king g7 is also fine. Yeah, looks looks normal for black. Okay, maybe it's yeah, maybe maybe it's fine. Maybe it's fine. Okay, let's check what was in the game. It's really very interesting going. <laughs> I'm enjoying. Uh, wait. Oh, it's happened. It's happened, but uh, I said that I want to play queen d7. But NG simply played knight e4 like this. Okay, she trying to prevent any any chances for for white. So bishop is hanging, knight is hanging on g5 and g6. And what to do now? Uh, if bishop e4, okay, at least I can take on g5. Yes, and simply piece up. And no mate, no anything. Uh, oh, so nice, nice move. Even I like concrete move, you know. I if knight takes e4. Mm, oh, knight takes e4. I, I I see one idea. If black will take on g6, now I can take on c5, and like this, maybe b c5 and queen g6. I'm making perpetual, so it's it's easy. <laughs> it's easy. Of course, not necessarily to take bishop on g6. I can take on e4. At least bishop takes e4. And uh, not sure that it's enough compensation. Yes, of course, three pawns are for peace, but not feeling that it's so great. For example, I can take on d4, takes, takes, and okay, just simply bishop f6. Not sure, not sure in Gomez, in Gomez decision to 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 to, to sacrifice a piece. Not sure, but okay. Let's check uh, what happens. Uh, knight takes pawn to g6, knight e4, and uh, and Gomez Gonzalez made a check first on h7, king g7, and now and now she took on e4. Mm hmm. F5, even like this, even like this. In my mind, even not came move like this. <laughs> Why not simply take on e4? F5, wow. So interesting. Okay. What then? Bishop takes. Okay, we can take by pawn, we can take by rook. Uh, both moves is fine. She took by rook, okay. Yeah, and simply piece up. Hmm. Simply piece up. Yeah, I think. No, 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 no. And even you see, h file is open. So my next move, rook h8, rook h5, with some checkmates ideas. No, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure in this, in this decision. So C takes D5. Okay, simply I can take by bishop, and looks absolutely, absolutely well. So it's happened, yes. And uh, Gomez played simply knight C3. No, oh, no, 
no, no. CD5, CD4 is coming. C takes D4, knight is hanging, and, and it's pin. White even cannot touch his knight. No, position is losing. Hmm. Very nice. Very interesting. Awesome game. <laughs> okay, so before, um, before, before, and he's thinking. So let's check uh, what happened in Rosha game. And in Russia game, in Russia game, just simply, simply, a uh, game going in the end game. <laughs> okay, uh, let's check. So, f4, knight c6, f5, knight rg8, we looked it. Yes, 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 knight e5, bishop g5, yes. So, bishop g5 was a simple idea to play knight d5. Okay, knight f3. Looks natural. Oh no 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 no! You need to take by pawn, by pawn. To open G file, to open G file. If you have a space on the king side, so try to play on the king side. Try to play for attack. Your next move, king H1, rook G1, something like this, something like this. But rook F3. Uh, it's also possible, the same idea, to bring rook somewhere, g3 on a, or h3, but your pawn on e4 will be a bit, bit weak. Uh, when you're capturing by pawn, you're supporting your e4 pawn. She took, she took by rook, bishop e7. Bishop, come on, come on. So passive, Luna. So passive. Bishop e3. If you took by rook, so try to do something. Maybe rook h3, maybe rook g3. But what's the reason to play bishop e3 now? Not sure, honestly. <laughs> okay, so bishop e3, it's happened. Uh, c5. Finally, finally, Rosha played c5. Knight e2, bishop c6. Yes, pawn is hanging. And a g3 and d5 now okay yeah yeah absolutely natural move takes 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 but why not big queen why not queen takes d5 oh akbari rosha <laughs> i know you are leader but like my logic is very simple my rook on eight is not doing something so i want to improve my rook where on d8, but d8 is uh, blocked by my own queen. So for this reason, I will trade. Uh, I will try to take my queen, and my next move will be rook d8, something like this. But okay, uh, Rosha took by bishop. Rook is hanging, so uh, Luna played rook f1, and anyway, <laughs> bishop c6. <laughs> oh, Luna, what? the reason to take on d8 what the reason to improve opponent rook rook directly by tempos by, by capturing coming on the open file no reason if you want to trade okay just at least try to play rook d1 or i don't know okay just again as i said if you have let's say space on the king side so try to keep pieces and try to play for attack as a way, it's not so great position. All end games will be really very fine for black with pair of bishops and beat open position. So maybe queen, I don't know, queen c3, queen c3 or queen f2, something like this. But of course, not queen d8. No, 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 not sure. Okay, uh, takes, takes, rook d1, and now uh, Rosha move. So but why bishop f8? Why so passive, Rosha? What your bishop doing on f8? Okay, try to bring him on f6, on d6, but not on f8, no? Not understand. <laughs> okay, bishop f8, bishop is hanging. And now, and now, and now, bishop f2. And Rosha move, she's thinking. Okay, oh, she played. And she played bishop, sorry. How she played? Mm -mm. Oh, okay. She played bishop d6, rook e1, bishop f8. Like this, she offering draw. What? <laughs> uh, check, capture, and rook d2, I think. It's coming, no? 
rook d2. Yeah, I think we need to play rook d2. Yes, 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 it happens. And uh, pawn is hanging. No, 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 any square to bring the rook inside. So waiting rook c1 and it happens. So now knight d4 is coming. So we need to prevent it. Bishop c6, I think she will play. Yes, she played. And the white to move now. White to move now. So I like, I like, of course, black position. Black is better for sure. Uh, but, 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 okay, knight of one. I think she will play knight of one with the idea to remove open and the rook from second rank. Yeah, so looks natural. If rook e2 again, knight g3, something like this. But she played king f1. So she wants to play king e1, like this. Uh, force, force, force uh, black rook to leave. So what to do? What to do? What to do now for black? Okay, g6 I like. g6, king e1, and bishop h6. For me, it looks absolutely natural. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm activating my bishop. From h6, he he looking on a rook on c1. Yeah, looks fine for me. Okay, so let's check. No, oh, Rosha, come on, Rosha, Rosha. <laughs> Bishop b5 check. Rosha, he she um she she want to play king e1 anyway. What's the reason to help her? Okay, never mind. King e1, it happens. Uh, rook d8. And now, okay, rook e8, I see some threats. Okay, c4. c4, removing bishop. Oh, okay, bishop c6 and pawn on g2 will be hanging. And again, we're going on. Oh, it's so deep, maybe, idea. Do you see? So, uh, rook e8, bit unpleasant. Uh, uh, un unpleasant threats. So, and if Luna will play... Uh, something like c4 we will go on c6 and again attacking pawn on g2 and if black, white will play king f1 now rook coming again on d2 wow <laughs> maybe it was idea of Russia to play like this wow so deep <laughs> okay so let's wait uh how 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 uh luna played in this moment oh <laughs> it's happened <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Okay. Uh, c4, bishop c6, king f1, and rook d2. Rook d2. And what then? And after that, after rook d2, yes, Luna played rook b1. Okay, pawn is hanging, so it's a natural move. And now, h6. Come on. Come on, Rosha. Do you want to improve your dark square bishop or not? Why not g6 and bishop h6? Or maybe, I don't know, bishop e7, bishop g5, something like this. But why? Why h6? Why h6? h6 is happens. King e1 and okay, just rook c2. Yeah, simply we keeping rook on the second rank. Yeah, of course, Russia position is really very well. White piece is, is not so great. Pawn on g2 is hanging. Knight on g3, bishop on f2. And the main problem is a rook on b1. So maybe it's chance for white to do something. Maybe rook d1 and bring rook on d8. Something like this. Okay, no choice. As a way, we will lose if we not will do something. Okay, just but uh, rook d, yes. Rook d1, of course, Rosha will play bishop e7. Of course, she not will um, allow to bring a rook on d8. She will try to prevent, yeah. And two pawns is hanging, b2 and g2 pawns. Yeah, it's not so great. Yeah, position is not so cool. So what to do? I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Okay, uh, let's check quickly uh, ng game. What happened there? Oh, and G already won. Let's we'll check uh, once again quickly. Uh, we stop watching after knight c3. Yes, and I said, okay, she will take on d4. No, she not took. She not took pawn on d4. 
she played directly directly rook h8 with a simple idea to checkmate after rook h5 uh gomez took on d5 rook takes then f4 queen d6 pawn is hanging on d4 queen e2 take rook h5 and queen c5 why not d3 why not d3 <laughs> queen c5 and white of course played uh why not queen d3 <laughs> why not block uh this pawn because after queen b any any move with a king is enough no queen c3 she played okay maybe even like this capture capture oh and bishop c5 and rook h1 checkmate is coming yeah okay so it's happened check and checkmate on a board congrats to ng okay she she make one more big step to super final <laughs> tournament and what about russia what about russia same or not oh no no she's still playing sorry uh let's check timings one minute of luna against six minutes of russia uh we stop watching yeah after rook c2 uh luna played king f1 of course simply took pawn yeah knight e2 finally luna decided somehow to improve her knight uh rook c2 back bishop b5 is a threat and it's really um uh, finishing threats uh knight c3 okay and b5 i think b5 b4 yeah it's happened uh Rosha pushed her pawn a3 and b4 yeah looks 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 winning uh takes takes it happens and knight what to do with a knight oh 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 <laughs> why why are you making your knight on the pin bishop b5 is coming at least at least try to play something like knight d1 knight e3 at least somehow improve your knight but knight e2 is nothing no bishop b5 is coming yeah russia russia yeah of course she played bishop b5 rook e1 and she took on b2 yeah it's happened king g1 but why king g1 why luna you're losing your 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 knight on it no yes of course position is totally losing but but not like this no <laughs> okay king g1 it happens and uh, yeah rook takes e2 and black is simply piece up capture capture bishop c3 bishop e1 and simply b3 and uh very 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 often white will resign i think bishop b4 i prefer to play bishop c5 <laughs> to, to bring king in the corner <laughs> okay bishop b4 it happens bishop b2 i think yeah and a5 king f2 and bishop somewhere on bishop d3 for example attacking pawn but oh but bishop b5 yeah king e3 and push yeah i think it's over yeah and luna resigned in this game so congrats to russia both leaders uh is won in this round uh body russia and ng won so congrats maybe 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 you will have a good chances to, to play in the super final tournament okay so let's check some other running games uh gupta prishita also playing um against vasilisa Semonova, and uh prishita is simply peace up right yeah simply peace up yeah so it's totally winning position and what about second running game li tai huang and against valiva asnat oh very interesting end game wow uh black is exchange up but uh white have two extra pawns and pawns really very dangerous b6 and c7 and look timings li uh 10 minutes against three minutes of asnat 
And last to black move was rook e3, simply, simply sacrificing the rook. Of course, white cannot take because after that, uh, white cannot stop this pawn. But same time, black cannot take. Ah, oh, no, no. Now he can take. She can take on f3 because after knight e7, black can play rook, rook, rook c3. So what to do now? Maybe simply king b4, king c4. I don't know. Some of the move king. Okay, I don't know. King king c4, king b4. One of the move. Uh, and how how uh, Lee played? Okay, she played king c4. Okay, for. Uh, once let's i will check anyway uh let's i will show you rook f3 and knight e7 and black cannot stop stop uh c8 um uh, promote queen so for this reason for this reason uh white threatenings to take on e3 knight e3 f3 and king d3 so for this reason black need to leave rook somewhere i don't know where i don't know okay rook i don't know e6 e8 e1 somewhere yeah, it happens. Uh, rook e6 and the white simply king c5. Yes, looks like it's a positional positional draw. <laughs> uh, both players cannot cannot improve this position. So as not played king uh, c8. Yeah, and no improvement. Yeah, okay, interesting. So uh, and Lee now is thinking. She's thinking, and uh, what can I recommend her? I don't know. Can't, can't do something. Simply, if black will play king b7, king c8, and white cannot to do something. Pawns is really very dangerous, but without supporting, they can't go inside, uh, to go forward. Yeah. Okay, I think it will be draw very, very soon. Uh, what about uh, Prishita game? Prishita is pressing and she's piece up. Yeah, of course, easily winning position. So Prishita, I think, will win this game very easily. Okay, let's check some other games uh, from another uh, categories. What about boys uh, category under 16? We looked some games today. Uh, Aditya, Samant against a Krishna Rohit, and they reached this position. Wow. Wow. So uh, it was uh, black to move, and last black move was knight g6. Was knight g6, and what's the idea of this move? If white will take on g6, so probably, probably, probably bishop e3 check first. Oh, it's a mate, no? King h3 and queen h3, uh, king g2 and queen h3 checkmate. <laughs> okay, okay. So Krishna Rohit made a very interesting move, knight g6. And if uh, white will take on f4, of course we will take on h4. Oh, it looks like easily, easily. Our uh, winning attack, knight f3 is coming, uh, rook f4, e4, rook g6. Yeah, looks really very well. Wow. Wow. Knight g6. And look, timings 30 seconds. They're playing on a seconds already. Okay, let's check what happened. Uh, one second. Oh, black, white played knight g2, like this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And what now? Bishop is hanging, bishop is hanging. So we can play simply bishop g5, but we're losing tempers and we're trading pieces. Of course, when we're attacking, it's not it's not must be well. So for sure, for sure, uh, Krishna searching some active possibilities. Maybe bishop h3, maybe queen h3, I don't know, something like this. Yes, he played queen h3. No fear. His opponent took on a four. Take by pawn, of course. Take by pawn and then f3, something like this. Don't take by, by knight. Don't trade the pieces <laughs> when you have attack. Oh, d3 is also hanging. But d3, f5, some uh, blocking, blocking a file. No, of course, we need to take on f4 by pawn. Yes, it happens. Bishop c3. f3, of course, natural move. g2 is hanging. King, knight e3 and what now and what now and what now where's the mate where's the mate 
F2 rook takes queen g3, at least knight g2. Uh, oh, before I'm thinking, they already finished. Uh, Adita, Adita lost already. <laughs> so, but I don't know how uh, how he lost. Uh, give me a second. I'm trying to find something by myself, but not see something quickly. And just imagine how they played. They played on seconds. On seconds. Can you imagine? It's so great. It's so great. So maybe something like knight e5, rook g6. Something like this. Okay, let's check uh, what happened in their game. Uh, knight e5. Okay. Takes. Takes. Oh, no. Come on. Come on. He missed queen g2. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe position anyway is losing, but not to lose like this. Yeah, Adita, of course, I know that you missed Queen G2. Maybe something like Rook... rook no, not, not, not working. I thought Rook F2, but Rook H6 is coming and Queen H1 checkmating. Yeah, position is losing. But anyway, it's sad, no? <laughs> uh, Adita took on G4 and after Queen G2 checkmate on the board. Yeah, so... Like this. Uh, who else playing? Somebody? Okay, let's check. Uh, what about our ladies? Uh, oh, how how it's happened? How it's happened? <laughs> I I thought that it was Zugzwang for both players, but let's check. Yeah, we stopped the watch from here, and black uh, black played king c8. Yes, I see. Nate c3. So anyway, anyway, Lee trying to do something. King B7. Why not Rook E3? Ah, Rook E3, maybe it's also not working. After Rook E3, Knight B5 is coming. Wow, wow, wow. So Lee idea is so nice. Okay, she's simply trying to bring Knight on B5. Oh, I missed it. I thought must to keep... Uh, on d5, but it's one more way to bring knight on b5 and knight a7 and knight d6. Wow, so nice. And what to do now? Uh, if, 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 if king going on... Oh, wait, a king b7? What's the problem with king b7? What's the problem with king b7? If I will play knight b5, rook c6 is coming check, and after that I will take a pawn. So it's fine, right? Uh, king d5, and let's say rook takes b6. I think black is fine. Knight d6 check, I will capture on c7. Oh, so good. So good. So then how she played? Knight e4. Rook c6, same. And king d4. So she sacrificed a pawn on b6, but took on g5. But no, it's it's not must be must be winning in my opinion. King takes and king quickly uh, going on the king side, even with again with two extra pawns, but not sure that it's winning. Not sure that it's winning. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> what about rook c6 check oh it's fantastic resource <laughs> oh i'm enjoying really rook c6 king c6 and stalemate on a board wow 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 it was so nice possibilities for black <laughs> okay okay but okay even king b7 is enough i think right king b7 knight e4 takes check like this like this, like this, king e4, check king e5, uh, king c6, and simply, oh, g6 is hanging. h4, king e3, h5, check, check, knight, 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 f7, lead side, trying really very hard. She is ready to sacrifice even f3 pawn, but but uh, to push her own pawns. Okay, king f3, h6, and okay, then what? King g4, h7, 
King g4 h7, but okay, rook b8 always I can play, right? Knight h6 check and knight g8 is nothing, always I will play rook b7. Yeah. And it happens. f3. Knight f6. Check. Wait, 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 wait. No, wait, wait, wait. I'm feeling that this position is well for black. I don't know how, but... Okay, king g6 or f4, two moves. King g6 or f2. Because anyway, uh, white can not, I mean, he can play, uh, she can play queen, but after check and I will take easily. So f2, king is knight e3 and king g6 then. Is it not winning? h8, new knight, king f6. Okay, let's check. It looks really, very really nice. f2, so queen is nothing because we will capture. And after that, we promoting new queen. So it's easy. It's fine. Yes, only move, only move is knight e3. So, and now I'm thinking king g6. Queen is nothing, checkmate. So, only knight and uh, king f6. Without f2 pawn and knight on e3, it's easily winning for black because it's some kind of zugzwang. White cannot touch his knight. And uh, if king f8, those then checkmate on b8. But but white have extra knight and the maybe knight check and take pawn. Yeah, it's it's a draw. It's a draw. But nice idea. <laughs> okay. And what happened in the game? Uh, let's check uh, one second. Uh, how they finished? They made a draw, but how? Wait, 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 wait. How it's happened? Oh, okay. She played king king g6 directly. And her opponent made a check and took pawn on f3. Yeah, and after that, rook a2. Oh, so good, so good. <laughs> Very interesting end games. Yeah, and after that, okay, it's a draw automatically. So, perfect games. Let's check maybe any other games. Uh, who playing? Okay. Okay, one second, uh, one second, one second. I'm checking who playing. Oh, very interesting game. Girls under 12, uh, Kirtaze Anastasia against Regidor Kaylee uh, Leilene. So, many pieces on the board. Pair of bishops. I'm trying to evaluate first of all. So, okay, looks very well for white. Looks very well for white. Uh, black pieces is not so great especially king right so we can play h6 something like queen g7 and disturb him like this or maybe something like queen g8 queen b8 like this is also possible okay so who's to move okay white to move and white is sinking oh no no wait uh white to move yeah okay h6 my recommendation not so bad <laughs> queen f7 okay looks natural queen h5 is coming Queen g7 and king e7. Okay, and white to move now. White to move now. White to move now. So I need to use my 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 light square bishop. How I can do it? How I can do it? I don't know. Bishop c4 is nothing. No threats. So maybe b5 somehow to bring bishop somewhere. <laughs> okay, so let's check uh, how they played. Anastasia, oh, Anastasia made a check. Made a check on d6. King e8 is only move, so it happens. Queen h8 check. King d7. Queen g7, okay. Perfect. Professionally, really very professional. So she repeat twice, she increased time. Oh, and they offered, oh, they accept draw. Oh, they, they, they. Or maybe it was three time repetition. I don't understand. Give me a second, please. Uh, I want to check. I want to check. Mm -mm -mm. One sec, one sec, one sec. 
how it's happened. Girls under 12, yeah, this game. And, oh, it was, no, it was, ah, they just only agreed. Okay, bishop d6, king e8, queen h8, king d7, queen g8. And after that, okay, after that, they agreed for draw. But, but why? But why? <laughs> White can play, right? Okay, I know that it's tough, but okay, I can make some moves. Queen g5, for example, to prevent any queen h5 checks. Even queen h5 is not dangerous, right? Even if he will, if she will play even queen h5, all, always I can play king g3. It's not like a mate or something. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know how to play, honestly. Okay, maybe check and queen b8. Uh, Maybe too risky. Queen b8 like this, no? And if queen h5, king move, check, king f2. Right? So why not? Why not? Oh, I got it. She can take on h6. b7 is hanging, but d6 is also hanging. And now black starting to disturb white king. Oh, no, 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 no. It's too much. It's too much. Yeah, maybe, maybe equal is a logical result in this position. <laughs> yeah, okay, it was draw. So, yeah, I think it's over. Thank you very much for all of you. Uh, follow us, please, on our website. And uh, we're finished for today. See you tomorrow. And uh, goodbye.